Vanessa. Stick around. Heather and I will be visiting the Oak Room in uh, Bar, located in Oak Lawn Casino, and the attention to detail is beyond exceptional. The wine, the cuisine, the atmosphere, I mean, they take fine dining to a whole new level. We'll get into all of that right after this. You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. The Oak Room Bar here at the casino. This is quite lovely. We have an Oak Room in Chicago, but nothing quite as um, decadent as this. And the ambiance in here is beautiful, and I like all the attention to detail. We're talking to the chef about when they're bringing this food out, you just have to look at every little carrot and every, how they place everything. I mean, even this beginning of this appetizer, it's all placed perfectly, and I taste, I mean, I can just smell it and taste it right now. Yeah, I mean, this is really elevated fine dining, and they do beautiful wine pairings, too. Mm -hmm. Ladies. So what we've got here is we've got a couple featurettes we already have on the table for you right now. We have the yellowfin ahi tuna. Okay. It is a fresh lemon curd with it. We have a prime cap steak that's on here. We pan sear it from here. We finish it off with a beach mushroom demi on top okay. of it. A little bit of microgreens. You have some uh, amaranth over here, and then you have a mixed, especially blend over here with some mini carrots on top to finish it to give you a little crunch. Wow. And the featurette that we have in here is that we do the smoked shrimp cocktail. Oh, here. yes. So what we do is we just take our cocktail at that point. We do a, a tomato gazpacho. Mm a avocado mousse, mm. and we smoke the cocktail in itself in a uh, apple wood smoke. Mm, I love the okay. smell. So is this cold shrimp? It's cold shrimp, but okay. the idea of the smoke is actually mm -hmm. to give it more of that feel like it's an actual hot dish that's inside there. And oh, a wow. nice piece that you can, the whole entire table can smell as well, too. For sure. That is a lot of fun. I would recommend mm -hmm. getting the shrimp with the smoke. Mm -hmm. I like anywhere. Yummy. You can smell it just coming up to your mouth. All right, right. Take a little sip of your whispering angel. All right, cheers. You know. The angels that we are. Mm -hmm. We are angels. Oh, is that fun? Right. Okay, so which one do you want to try? So this is the fish, right? Yeah. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Cut so easily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Tangy. Lots of burst of flavors. That sauce has so much burst of flavor. Oh my gosh, I hardly need a knife for this. It's so tender. What is the seasoning on the outside? Because so, that is delicious mm -hmm. right underneath that we cream. Have a, we have a choice. When we actually order steaks in this restaurant, you can get what we have, the oak room dust, um, and they have the Creo seasoning. We actually coat that with the Creo seasoning. So mm -hmm. you get a heat in there, mm -hmm. yeah. punch mm -hmm. of flavor in there, and then it goes great with that lemon curd. It kind of calms it down a little bit, and that fish is kind of battling between the two flavors of that calmness of the, uh, of the lemon curd and that spiciness of the Creo that's inside there, too. Well, this will definitely leave you with a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. And this? Oh. Phenomenal. Yes, yeah, it that's, is. That's, that's, really. That's been a winner in there ever since we started in there. So. Absolutely. Well, I'm ready to see what's next. Okay. This salad looks amazing. He said this is cinnamon toast. You got the mozzarella, the apples, the pecans, the tomatoes. But your question was about the dressing. Vin right, yeah. So this is a burrata cheese, which right. is just a uh, kind of little different version of mozzarella. Um, okay. It's a lot softer. Um, but what he does is he heats it up and he plays with the flavors where it's kind of a sweet salad. So he's got all these um, sweet fruits and nuts, uh, a little bit of granola, cinnamon on mm. here. So what we've got is we actually do a house made gumbo, so we change it up almost every mm. week. So we either add a different protein into it and we cook it off fresh every week. Mm -hmm. So this one we have in here is our chicken gumbo in here. We've done chicken, we do veal, we do a smoked duck, we do a shrimp gumbo in mm. here. So we change that. And part of our service in here, we bring it to the table, is we pour it table side. The idea of it basically is to let them see everything that's coming out there. Mm -hmm. It comes heated up in the pan hot inside there. Shot from there, that's it. Mm -hmm. It looks amazing. So the flavor in this is going to be more of a traditional style gumbo, so it's going to have much more of that heartier flavor in there. You're going to focus on the seafood. You're going to focus on the broth that's inside there and the protein. Oh, this is a southern, the a southern dish, right? Yep. All right, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Got to dig into this. this yeah, you were looking girl. forward to this one. Mm -hmm. I want to know how it rates on the scale of the gumbos that you've had. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that good, huh? Oh. You said there's fish in here? Mmm. And there's some sausage mm. I see. What else is in gumbo? I think I should know this, but I don't know that I that do. That is amazing, and the heat is coming out in it. That mm. is some of the best gumbo I have ever eaten in my life. This is a pork chop. Right. Okay, you could not identify that as a pork chop any day of the week, but I cannot wait to dive into that because it's got a cherry, cherry. breeze mm. on it. That's gonna be tasty. All right, Chef, sure. what else you got for us? 
So we highlight it. We actually, mm. this is a created dish we've done in here. So oh. it's a play off of beef bourguignon. So we mm. call it the beef bourgeois that's in here. And what we do is we take short ribs and we cook them, shoal cook them for uh, 48 hours. Cut them up. We do a wine reduction sauce in there. We saute the vegetables inside of there. And we actually coat the entire thing. And we finish it off with microgreens mm -hmm. and actually green boysenberries on it on there. The last one is that pork chop that's over there. Mm. Um, <laughs> so it's a double one dark pork chop. We do what we call a power blend, which is an earthy green mixture that's underneath it with root vegetables. We saute that, we finish it off with the Leonese potatoes in the front, and the cherry gastric that goes over the top of the wow. pork chop. And this Jordan Cabernet to finish that off. Yep. Delicious, perfect wine pairing. Put this in, I know you want some of that. I do. Nice. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I mean, this is fine dining at its best. Heather, this is the craziest pork chop. I'm. You're excited, I'm excited. I can't wait to try it. I just want to try it all. I love this potato. Do you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What's the gravy taste like? It is. It's like kind of like a creamy gravy. Is that Time great? Time out. Time out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Get get you some of that okay. right now, immediately. That is crazy good. So do you love the cherry? It's sweet, it's salty, it's savory, it's tender. Oh, she's oh my. excited. Yes, you will be too. Oh my goodness. That pork, it's like mm -hmm. eating butter. Mm -hmm. It's so tender. All right, it's my favorite time. It's dessert time. <laughs> You've got your dessert. Come on, chef. Let's see what this is. Oh, bananas, Foster. All right, so we have the crescendo to finish for the night. Oh. So we have a banana Foster bread pudding. Mm. So what we do is we actually make a banana Foster base that's inside there. Right. Cook it into the custard mm. to make the bread pudding. Mm -hmm. We finish off and make it caramel. Caramelize the bananas, serve it with ice cream, and then toast the whole, dust the whole thing with powdered sugar to finish there. That looks exquisite. This is going to be amazing with the gourds and everything you guys are drinking right now. All right. Because you're going to get a combination of the gourds. I'm not going to wait any longer. Should I never, should I get like a bite of all of it together? Always, I always recommend it, but we always make the dishes where even one bite of one individual item is as good, as good as the combination. Oh, that is fabulous. Oh, good. Mm. Okay. I mean, I take Nicole on some good dates. You do not want to miss this amazing restaurant. Check it out, the Oak Room and Bar. My girls with the magic to make us all look younger, Rachel and Sarah from Skin at Frank's are going to join us after the break to discuss laser treatments, micro needling, and a little thing called IPL photofractional treatment. Stay with us. You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK.